Hey loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome to my very first video of 2020. I don't know what it is about this new year, but just something feels right. The sun's been shining, I'm staying glowy and hydrated. I'm just feeling really good about 2020 in general. So I thought what better way than to kick off this year with a giveaway. Aside from just being excited about it being 2020, I also have to give a huge thank you to you guys for getting me to 90,000 subs here on the TL Yarn Crafts TV channel. That is no small feat, especially to the people who have been rocking with me since I started this channel in 2017. You guys are amazing and I love you. I appreciate you so much. Now, if I'm gonna do a giveaway, you know I have to do it big, and here's the bigness. Oh my gosh, this box is so heavy. So you guys might not know who American Crafts is, but I bet you know who Jessica of the Hook Nook is. I'm sure just about every crocheter knows who Jessica is, so I'm gonna move on and pretend like you've done your homework. Jessica, on top of being an amazing crochet designer and a great influencer on Instagram and her blog, also came out with a line of notions and yarn in 2019. I shared my whole all of her notions in some stories that I did on Instagram but I also got a nice big box of her yarns which I'm so excited to try now these yarns are so coveted right now not only because they're apparently very very nice which I haven't tried them so I don't know exactly they're also super hard to find these yarns originally were sold exclusively at select Joann's I couldn't even find them at my local Joann's store and I know a lot of people still can't get their hands on them physically in stores Jessica recently added these yarns to her website so if you can't get them in your local store you can go to her website to get them I've got a link down in the description but today we're gonna unbox this giant honestly truly very heavy box see what's in here play around with a bit of the yarns and then at the end of the video I'm gonna give you details on how you can win this whole box of yarn So that box, while big, was deceptively small. There is so much yarn here. I can't even fit it all on my desk. But for the sake of research, we're gonna make this work. So I have four different yarns on my desk. This one here is the Hook Nook Small Stuff. We also have Main Squeeze. Here we've got Yummy. And then, because I had to sit it somewhere else, we've got Ginormous. First off, the names are really, really fun. I think they're super cute and clearly Jessica and her team spent a lot of time thinking it through and it just fits her brand to have something so fun and so cute. So the first yarn is small stuff. I'm gonna pull in as much of it as I can for you to kind of see the colors. Oh my gosh, I've got kind of a very precarious mountain happening here. So these are the colors that we have for small stuff. Hold on, wait, I might get it. Do we, got it? Okay, yay, wait, no. Okay, <laughs> cool. So this is small stuff. Here's the details. It is a three and a half ounce, 100 gram ball. We've got 273 yards in here, and this is considered a DK. This is definitely gonna be on the thicker side of DK if there's only 273 yards in here. DK, you should be looking a little closer to 300 yards. So this is definitely on the heavier side of DK, but that makes sense for kind of big box DKs, um, like a hand dye DK is gonna be much, much thinner. So this definitely makes sense. We've got a lot of really good, vibrant colors. And the first thing that I can say is that I think of all the yarns in here, even just on first inspection, these are probably my favorites. DK is one of my favorite yarn weights right now. Uh, I think it's the most versatile, and I think you get a lot of options with it as far as the different projects that you can make. So I'm really glad that somebody as big as Jessica, especially someone who's kind of known for working with heavier weight yarns, I think, uh, would come out with a DK line. So kudos to her for that. Another thing that I love about this yarn is how vibrant it is. So you're looking a lot more on the primary side of the color spectrum when it comes to these colors. You've got a really good um, kind of mossy green. You've got a nice bright buttery yellow, a really good kind of baby pink, and a true white. Not a cream. This is truly white, which I appreciate. This is 100% acrylic yarn. Uh, let me see what other details we've got on here. The color is called Minimalist, which makes a lot of sense. 
That's cute. I wonder what the other colors are called. So that was minimalist. This is green thumb. Oh gosh, this is going to be fun. Okay, I can feel it. What's this one? We've got gemstone. That's cute. This one's called pink peony. Makes a whole lot of sense. This is warm sunshine. Aw, that's cute. This one is tattoo ink. Makes so much sense because she's got all those tattoos. This one is called Blue Steel. I feel it. It's kind of like a dove gray blue. And then this one is called Foggy Morning. I'm just, I'm kind of enamored with this right now. It's also extremely soft. I think it's, um, I wouldn't call it like a premium acrylic, which is that really, really soft stuff sometimes that you see at stores. But I definitely think it's a step up from kind of a traditional acrylic. So Kudos on the yarn weight, kudos on the color, kudos on the names. The label is even really, really cute. This is following the branding that Jessica uses on her website and on her blog. She's really covered all of her bases with this yarn. And I have to say, again, on first inspection, that this is feeling like definitely one of my favorites. I could see all kinds of projects being made out of this. Baby things, home goods, clothing, accessories, like literally anything. So this has to be a favorite of mine for sure. Next up is Main Squeeze. So it looks like this is the worsted version of small stuff. So like if we pick up two colors that kind of coincide, you can see that they're essentially the same color, if not the exact same color. But this one is just a heavier version of this one. So we've got... 100 grams here as well, 175 yards. Again, that feels pretty standard when it comes to kind of like your main acrylic worsted weight sold in stores. Same, oh no, this one's called Rose Gold. So this one was called Pink Peony. This one's called Rose Gold. Let's go through the names. This one is called Mustard Yellow. So I can see based off of this color and this next to each other, you can see that they're definitely not the same. So this one is warm sunshine and this one's mustard yellow and they are a good bit different. So it looks like we're going slightly on the deeper, richer side for the worsted weight yarns. This one, which I think this might be my favorite color of all the colors in the entire box. This one's called Pinot Noir. That makes a lot of sense, okay? This one is Midnight Decisions. What does that mean? <laughs> I need to know more. But it's a really pretty kind of denim bluish. Um, I feel like it might even have like a tiny drop of purple and maybe a drop of gray in it to get this really pretty kind of denim -y blue color. This one is called Peacock Feathers. That makes a whole lot of sense. And even holding it next to kind of the companion color and small stuff, I can see now that they are different. Um, they kind of look, you know what, actually these are actually very similar. This one's maybe slightly deeper than this one, but they do feel very similar. So some of these are the same, some of them are different. This one's fun too, it's kind of like a taupey gray that I think that is just very popular in the maker scene right now. And this color is called Multigrain. Okay, doesn't remind me of bread, but I get it, I feel that. Ultimately, this yarn feels very, very similar to its DK counterpart. Um, it's nice, deep colors, uh, very vibrant, and I think there's a lot of application opportunities for a yarn like this too. I could even see putting all of these together. You've got kind of a, a nice gentle rainbow happening here, but it is very deep color, which I really, really like. I find that some of the new yarns that come out, um, there's like this, trend for really soft heathered colors which we're going to get into like that's available here but for this yarn kind of that main squeeze that main acrylic yarn I think this is a really really great collection here next up is yummy and it's this whole situation happening over here there are like eight nine ten eleven skeins eleven balls of yarn so I'm not going to pull them all in but they're kind of in groups so I didn't do my research so Correct me if I'm wrong, but first we've got kind of the solid colors. So Yummy is a level five bulky weight, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So looking at the strand here, you've got um, a twisted strand, but it's a very soft twist. It's a little tricky to see even. At first glance, like you can tell that it's twisted, but it's so lightly plied that it almost feels a bit like a single ply. So it's really, really pretty and it's definitely got a halo on it from that wool. This color is called Olive You. Look at that, Olive You, mm, cute. This color is called Like a Dove. And this one is called 
blue skies. That's cute. So it's a nice like light blue. We've got a really good olive here. I do like this. It's it's feels a little bit more brown than green, which I really, really like. And then this one is uh like a really bluish white, which I like. So these are kind of the solid versions of Yummy. And then we've got kind of Heathers. So you can see here that these have kind of like lighter colors going through them. So it's almost like they were applied with kind of the lighter version of each of them. So it's still that bulky weight, 80-20. This one's called charcoal toothpaste. That's funny. I use that all the time. This one is called cherry blossom. Really pretty kind of pinky purpley heathered situation. And this one is called latte foam, which I totally get. And Jessica is super into coffee. So all of this makes total sense for her brand and for her as a person. So we've got some heathers here. We've also got some sparkles. Can you see that? I feel like you can see it best on the black, but these are kind of little sparklies, which make a whole lot of sense. And this is this actually feels really, really nice. It's 77% acrylic, 20% wool. For some reason, this feels like it's got a different bounce and a different feel to it. It looks like it's plied a little bit tighter, perhaps. But I really like this. This color is called Little Black Dress. Very, very cute. This one, we've got kind of an oatmeal color. This one's called Latte Art. So this one was called Latte Foam. And then this one is Latte Art. Very, very cute. And it's also got those sparklies. So this one has gold sparklies in it. This one has, I think, silver? Or maybe it's just black and it's just kind of bouncing. I think this might just have like black sparklies in it somehow. I don't know. That doesn't, but it works. And then this one has silver sparklies and this one is called silver lining. How cute. I love the sparkles because I think it's a really great way to kind of elevate an accessory. It's really, really fun. And it's sometimes tough to find a sparkle yarn that is also still very soft. And this is very soft. It has great squish and we're getting 185 yards and a bulky weight ball. That that feels really good to me. And then the last of the yummy collection we've got are some tweeds. Now I am a sucker for tweeds. And while I'm giving away this box of yarn, these are staying with me. But I will tell you a little bit about them before I put them in my own stash. So this is still 185 yards. This is 77% acrylic, 20% wool, 3% viscose, probably to accommodate the neps in the tweed here. This color is called Precious Metals. It's a really pretty gray with some tweeds. And then this one is called Cookies and Cream. How cute, I want more of this. I feel like this would make such a cute blanket. Still level five bulky weight. Um, it's got really, really good squish too. It feels very much like uh, the others in the yummy line. I really, really like these. I'm gonna use these together for something. Maybe I'll actually knit something. I don't know, we'll see. Don't, don't hold me to that. Okay, we've got one more yarn to go through and then I'm gonna tell you about this giveaway. <sighs> All right, this one is called Janomus because she is. This is a level seven, like jumbo weight, level seven, jumbo, 100% wool, which is very, very interesting, but makes a whole lot of sense because this is that single ply roving. It is slightly twisted. Um, and I, it reminds me of like a slightly lighter version of that yarn that people were using for like finger, like, rugs and blankets and stuff like that. This is 100% wool. This one, this color is called Morning Light. It's got kind of this soft pinky red, a really pretty gray, and then it transitions into like this Kool-Aid blue, which we all know what Kool-Aid blue looks like, right? And then this color is called Natural State of Mind. How cute. This might be my favorite name. Okay, so this is my favorite color. It's like an almondy whitish cream. I would definitely say it's it's closer to tan and brown than just white, for sure. It's definitely got some dimension and it's got some color. They put some effort in that one, which I love. And then this color is called In the Shadows. This color, I think, reminds me the most of Jessica. It's got all these different purples, some pinks, and then it's got that uh, almondy cream in here. This is a really great yarn to use for the, those thicker finger knitting projects. And I think you could crochet with it, for sure. But finger knitting, you'll probably get a lot more yardage out of it because crochet does use more 
yarn than knitting. And that's just, that's the thing, no problem. But I will say, just in case you're planning to use this, it is 100% wool, but it's not like a super wash wool. It's not like that super soft stuff. This is toothy. It's definitely got some bite to it. It's got some texture to it. It's not like that super soft, like, you wouldn't make a scarf out of this. It's a little too rough, but you could easily make a rug out of this and felt it, perhaps. You could make a bag out of this and felt it. You could make, uh, if you got enough of it, you could easily make a blanket, but just be careful because it might pill pretty significantly. But you know what? I bet it's super fun to work with, and I really do like these colors. This might be my least favorite. I, this just feels kind of Superman to me, and these aren't, these just aren't my colors, but they feel good together. I really like this one, but this has to be my favorite. Um, but I'm going to definitely give these all away to let somebody with a little more creative of a mind figure this out. So I brought the whole gang in to wrap up this video. I want to give a big, big thank you to Jessica and her entire team at The Hook Nook for hooking me up with this great yarn. And I'm so excited to give it away to one very special person. To win this yarn, you have to do just a few simple things. Make sure you like this video, which means give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then drop down in the comments and let me know your name, where you're from, and what you would do with this yarn. Just a heads up, this giveaway is open only to US residents and the giveaway closes on Tuesday, January 14th. I'll come back into the description and update it with the winner. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I can't wait to read all of your comments. Bye-bye.